Hey gang, today I want to talk about icons. I love them, I love finding them. I love finding really cool ones and trying to figure out how to use them. But after a while you collect so many of them that it becomes really hard to organize, right? If only there was like a digital shoebox for icons. Well, there is. It's actually called Icon Jar, and it looks a lot like this. Uh, so this is my uh, my icon jar, I guess you could say. Uh, it has all of my different icons in here. Uh, some I've actually made. I made these a long time ago for uh, an ESL thing that I was doing. And some I downloaded, some I bought. Uh, but these are all the icons. And right now there are probably somewhere between 30 and 50,000 icons in here. But it still doesn't take up that much room. The cool thing is that you can import pretty much any file format in here and it will work its magic and try to index it for you. Uh, you can import, in my case I do a lot of SVGs, you can import PNGs, JPEGs or GIFs or whatever. Uh, you can even import icon fonts and it will try to sort it out for you. Uh, so it's pretty cool. Uh, let's say you're out on the web and you download the Font Awesome free version. Uh, here it is. And of course, it's got everything in here. But the cool thing is, again, it will try to sort it out for you. So you just grab this SVGs. It actually has a few folders in there. Drag it right onto here. And it will say, what do you want to name it? Do you want it, do you want it to be SVGs or something else? And so we can go, yeah, I want Font Awesome Free. And it'll take a few seconds and Boom, they're all in there, they are named. So I can search Amazon Pay and that will show up or Bandcamp or whatever other ones are in here. CSS3, uh, I can just do that. It's already done for me. I don't have to add any magic to that. Maybe I purchased a font and the, the designer was very helpful in creating their own icon jar files. Uh, so I could just double click on this and that will import in. Uh, very easy as well. Uh, maybe I found a file, either a sketch file or Illustrator, and I went through and set up the exports for that and clicked export, and then had this folder and I dragged this bad boy over and same thing, give it a name, import. And there they all are. Uh, a few things that we can do here, uh, obviously we can search uh, that's the easy one. We can search for anything, maybe Facebook. I don't have Facebook, but here's all the different Facebook icons in the Font Awesome Free. Uh, right now I'm just searching by current selection, but you can also do all sets. Uh, so that's, that's an option. I usually just click on all and search from there. Uh, so once we're here, we can actually display this as right now they're all black. I could actually color all of these in one go just by changing this little widget here. And if it was light enough, then I can also change the background. You only have the selection of two backgrounds, but that'll give you a pretty good indication of what it looks like in dark and in light. You can do your uh, accessibility checks. You can also just select one icon and change that color. And the really handy thing about this is that if I change this color and drag this out, it keeps that color. So now I have this Facebook square and it's that color that I just selected. So I don't have to do any magic. Uh, unfortunately, there's uh, there are some comments in here. So sending it through something like SVG OMG is a very good idea, but very easy. Uh, in terms of searching, we can search for anything. We can search for, say, Empire or the Galactic Republic. There it is. Rebel. Yeah, we got that. First Order. Sure, why not? There it is. Even Old Republic. Uh, there it is. And as we're going through, we can add these or copy them, sorry, copy them to a different place. So that way when we go into our 
other folder, we just have the icons we selected. So now we have these, we can actually select these. And again, it shows the color here. Or we can just set it back. And then from there, we can drag them into a new file. Just drag and drop. Maybe make them just a touch smaller. And then reorder them. What was the order? Oh, I think that one goes over there. And which one here? This one, and then this one. And let's put first order at the end, kind of a history. I'm sure somebody will be mad at me for this order, but here they are. Uh, what is it? Arrange that, put it in the center, and we have kind of a, I don't know, a desktop, I guess. Maybe change the color. Oops. Oh, ungroup. There we are. Change the color. Maybe orange. Should we make it the bright orange? Oh, I don't know. Dark orange. Let's just stay dark with everything. Dark. Red like a lightsaber. Oh, stop monkeying around. Can I not do that? The rebels. That was the green lightsaber. And this guy over here. Something maybe a little lighter. There we are. Now we have a bit of a background. How come it doesn't look like they are centered? I think it is this one. There it is. Nice and centered. Okay. Uh, so very easy to find and use icons. Also very easy to share icons. So I, if I wanted to, I could take this Star Wars thing and export it out to an icon jar itself right to my desktop. And now I can share that with anyone. Uh, I can share it to the rest of the team. I could even probably share this to Windows people because this, don't tell anyone, but this is actually a folder. This is something that Mac does. Uh, they make folders look like files. So I can actually open this up and all those icons that I selected are right there. So very easy to organize icons, very easy to find icons, even very easy to export and share icons. Uh, great for developers, for, um, for designers, obviously. Uh, exports out as SVG for developers, uh, every, anything else for designers. Pretty easy to use. Uh, I've been having a lot of fun with it, and you might too. Uh, if you give it a try, definitely let me know what you think. Uh, comment away, ask questions, and I will see you next time.